Well, most wool growers spend their lives trying to keep black sheep out of their flocks. But three women have decided to buck that trend and they're purposely breeding all black merino sheep. And with demand growing for all natural products, it's flying out the door. They say black never goes out of style, but black sheep have never had much of a role in Australia's multi-billion dollar wool industry. That is until recently. The one-time outcasts of the flock are suddenly hot property, thanks to burgeoning interest in natural products here and overseas. Demand far outstrips supply. At the moment, it's, um, it's been incredible, the response, uh, especially uh, from North America. Sophie and Tom Holt run nearly 30,000 sheep at Kunong Station in the Riverina. Sophie has started a separate black merino flock and processes their wool in Australia, running a wool retail business with two friends. Maggie Lahore worked here as a station hand before returning home to Argentina. And Kimmy Falls runs a local trucking company. Three working mothers um, that had a... Three good friends that had an idea to process coloured and white wool domestically. Early on, they were told it couldn't be done. And the reaction was not great from a lot of mules to someone ringing up and saying, hey, I'd like to process some of my clip um, the whole way through in Australia. With their $500 yeah. black wool yeah. blankets selling out, yeah. they've now proven there's a market. Coloured sheep are building up a reputation for the quality of their wool, which has been a really big focus in our breeding programs. And consumers are certainly looking for a range of naturally coloured fleeces. When shearing time comes, the coloured sheep have to be shorn separately so dark fibres don't get into the white wool. The whole shed has to be cleaned down thoroughly to avoid any crossover. It's hugely important that we don't contaminate our white wool flock and there's not that there's anything wrong with black wool, but it's a different market and we need to keep them separate. But it seems the black sheep is no longer the odd one out. Olivia Carver, ABC News, Urana.